so where we're at right now in Salisbury, North Carolina is um, Salisbury National Cemetery, which the federal government took over after the Civil War. Um, but the grounds are officially where this 16 acres back out through here was the um, Salisbury um, prison of war, prisoner of war camp for the Union soldiers. And so behind you see World War II soldiers from here in the area, but over in the other area, there's um, there's Union soldiers in the front area. And then you'll notice that these are all the same kinds of stones that they use at all the national cemeteries, um, such as Arlington. So anyway, it's very interesting. This is a national cemetery, just like Arlington, built on the old prisoner of war camp area established by um, the federal government. It has Gettysburg Address over there from Lincoln. And then here it has some more information. I'll video real quick about the cemetery. Behind me right here is the only last standing building from the prison of war camp. Um, the reason why I'm here recording this is because one of my ancestors was stationed here during the Civil War. And so I just wanted to come and see this, um, this place. So what you find here is you find all kinds of monuments, just like at Gettysburg National Battlefield. You find graves that are like those, some from the Civil War. Over here you got World War II in Vietnam, and it looks like Arlington. This reminds me of Arlington. Up at the top there, that big monument we're gonna go to is to the Union dead. There were about, um, I think they said 2,500 men who died or something like that. It was short of 5,000 definitely, but they died here and um, they were put in larger graves, just like what happened with my ancestor up at Point Lookout, Maryland. So anyways, um, that's, that's what they did here to be able to do that. Now some of them were named, but for the ones that weren't, they just put a headstone, footstone, and then this and um, in memory of them for the Union dead. So there's one monument from Maine, of course, just like you find um, from back at Arlington. But this is the Union Monument, just like the one we have um, up at Point Lookout for Confederate dead. It's so sad that these men died when they could have been traded um, as a part of the war. But there's all the uh, monuments and markers. And then I'm just going to show you one more thing. So you find these markers here from the Salisbury National Cemetery. And then, um, and it's just telling about how things were erected and what things were done. And mostly by 1910 it was set up. Got this from these monuments. They put an informational thing here for the burial trenches. So the men were interred there in a trench. It's kind of help you figure out where everybody is and then there's this so in essence if you if you go right here's the monument for the Union dead you see this marker for the National Cemetery system and you see these they've got 16 of these across I think they said that are unknown US soldier markers on either side it's at their foot so it's at their head and their feet and then the middle here this open space there's trenches and that trench that's in between these, this tree area, that's where the actual bodies have been laid in a mass burial. Um, just like we found my family's um, 100 feet off in a trench that was just a drainage ditch that they filled in, they put them out here in this area. And of course the federal government put the monument up here. It's the same kind of thing, you know, there's a monument in the middle point lookout, and then you go out of space and then there's the trench. So um, there you go. And it's just so sad that men had to die this way. It's sad that my um, great-grandfather died that, or great-great-great-great-grandfather died that way.